Yo, what is up guys? This is B Bricks and Brickdo here, and today I thought I'd talk about more realized gains when it comes to selling on eBay. So when you think about it, there are a lot of fees associated with selling uh, like on eBay. If you guys are investing in things like that, you're going to have your selling fees. In addition, you're going to have to ship out the box. Now, even if you offer, even if you make the buyer pay shipping, that's going to factor into the price you can sell it for. So for the purposes of this video, I want to pretend like we're basically going to be offering free shipping. So we need to factor in how much it's going to cost to ship each of these sets. Now, I think this is a big issue when people talk about any sort of collectible is they don't really factor in the liquidity of it. Um, you're going to have a lot of fees associated with it and it's going to eat into your profit. And so it's good to have a nice setup here on a spreadsheet or something like that. So you can sort of see how this works or how it eats into your profit and to be able to understand what kind of prices you need to sell it for in order to actually have a legit profit going. Okay, so let's just start out with the selling fees to, <clears throat> to start off. Now on eBay, if you're selling Lego, you're going to be paying 12.35% in selling fees. Uh, unless you are doing some sort of subscription on eBay as a store, um, I would not recommend that unless you're obviously doing a lot of volume. So for us, we're not doing that or anything. So our fees are going to be 12.35%. I think the 2.35, um, I think 2.35 goes to PayPal and 10 goes to eBay. Either way, it ends up coming to be about 12.35%. So if we look at the spreadsheet here, I've basically taken the fair value of each of the sets we're holding on to right now. And this was on October 4th. Took the fair value, pretty conservative estimates based on sold listings on eBay. And then obviously to take the profit, we can just subtract our total purchase price from the fair value, or sorry, yeah, the fair value minus the total purchase price, and this will have our profit. Now, obviously, we're not taking into consideration yet the selling fees and shipping. So I go through each of these sets. The only sets I did not include are the ones we just picked up as they're not retired yet. They're not going to be able to be sold uh, anytime soon. So we go over here, and our total fair value for all of these sets we're holding on to is located here, 12.93. Our profit, I say profit sort of in quotes here because we haven't taken in fees and shipping, our profit would be about 7.33. Now that seems really good, especially we know when we look over here, we see total invested. That would be crazy, right? Over 100% ROI. But let's get into the fees now. Obviously we can take the total fair value, which is what we're selling all these for, our total sales times I did 12.9 here. I was kind of confused if it was 12.9 or 12.35. I might have changed in the recent uh, times to 12.35. By the way, this is sort of uh, this is what we're stuck with here in fees. 166 dollars and 80 cents is what it's going to be about if we sold all of our items for this price. In addition, we have shipping. Shipping is a little bit harder to calculate here. Obviously, it's going to depend on how big the set is. Now, if you have multiples of sets, for example, uh, this Imperial Patrol Battle Pack. If 10 of them, you know, it comes into, you know, this little game. It's like, do I do I bundle these into packs of two or three and sell them on eBay? Because, you know, most people are going to be army building with these anyway. Maybe that's the best idea for shipping. I can, it'll be easier on my end and I'll probably get, you know, similar prices or the same price and the same profit. So those are things that to consider as well. Are you going to be grouping these items and shipping them together? Or are you going to be selling each of these, say, battle packs alone? So for shipping, I basically took our total quantity here, right, which is 31 units, 31 units we're looking to sell, and I multiplied it times 10. I think 10 is a per, $10 to ship is a fairly decent estimate. Obviously, some of these sites are much bigger. For example, this Legoland set, obviously something like, um, let's see what we have here. We have like the, yeah, Parisian restaurant. But we also have these battle packs, which I think are going to be about $5 to ship, and there's a lot of them. So I think $10 is a fairly decent estimate. Obviously, before you sell, you could obviously do a much a much better estimate than this if you really wanted to. Something I think I'm going to be doing in the next month or so here. And then we can sub take our, you know, quote-unquote profit and subtract our fees and expected shipping cost. And then get our net profit here, right? So this is the $256. And now we can do a little bit of calculation to figure out what our return on investment is here. So our initial investment for all the sets that we're looking to sell here is 
$559. Our prop potential, or basically what I think our profit is going to be here after considering shipping and fees, is $256. And our ROI is still about 46%. Really good. So, again, it's still good, but if we would have looked at something like here, we would have been so skewed off. It's not even funny. And I think people sometimes get a little bit too excited when they get a set for like 30% off and it goes up in value and they forget to realize that you're going to have fees and shipping costs associated with it. Not only, you know, your time to list everything. And, um, you guys have to really pay attention to this if you're going to be trying to hold on to these sets long term and, uh, and understand, uh, how shipping and selling fees, uh, you sort of affect your bottom line. And I would recommend just putting a spreadsheet together like this. If I were you, um, maybe every once, every six months to a year, just sort of check in on the uh, the, the prices going for on eBay, and sort of see how that affects you know your bottom line. And once you hit a return that you're comfortable with, you know maybe fifty percent, you can go ahead and maybe sort of turn over some of that inventory, liquidate some of it, and put it into to new sets. So anyway, guys, that's sort of the strategy i'm going for here and this is some of the analysis i do in regards to ebay selling and shipping um, costs if you guys want to hear more about maybe some of the ins and outs of selling on ebay or other sites like macari i'd be happy to do a video on that as well just let me know so this is b brooks and brook joe signing off